Sticks, how do you feel about the latest gun incident for Ja? He, I just want Ja to stay out the way, man. Because he's, he, as we talked about before, he's trying to portray a lifestyle that he didn't grow up in. He he came from a two-parent household. A, a, I won't say wealthy household, but upper upper class household, so to speak. Uh, mm-hmm. Went to a private school. He's not that guy. To, honestly, he's not that guy. But he has a lot of influence around him, I think. He has a lot of yes men around him. And kudos to his homeboy that was driving the car and actually tried to keep him from showing that gun on camera. He tried his hardest. He didn't realize what was going on, but he tried to save his boy. But I think he has a lot of influence around him, a lot of yes men around him that make it make it harder for Ja to stay out the way. And my and from my viewpoint, if it was me, if I was Ja Morant, if I was on the verge of getting two hundred thirty three million dollar contract, if I was on the verge of that, I swear. And this is just my thought process, and I can't speak for Ja because Ja is his own person. But if it was me, I'm staying out the way at all costs, bro. Like I can't, I'm, I'm focusing on my craft. I'm focusing on basketball. I'm focusing on making the Grizzlies better. And that's all that's that, that is my focus. Of course, I'm going to go out, have fun, do things with my family and my friends, but I'm gonna keep people around me who know the, who know that I have something worth risking and something worth losing. But at the same time, man, like John, I just want y'all to stay out the way, bro. Cause you're losing power aid. Now you're on the verge of losing Nike. You've already lost sixty nine million dollars because once this thing came out, you were taken off the all NBA list. So that was one of your incentives to get sixty nine million. So you're losing money with this with with this charade that you're putting on. And I'm gonna call it a charade because this is not who he is. This is not Ja. So that's my thoughts on it, bro. What you think? What? How do you feel about Ja and this whole all these transgressions he's got going on? Uh, I just think he has to be smarter. Uh, it's only been two months since the first gun incident that we saw where he was in the strip club uh, and, you know, had a gun. I don't have, uh, I'll say this. I don't have an issue with him having a gun. At I really all. don't have an, I really don't have an issue with him flashing a gun, honestly, because if we are talking about the current climate that we're in, when major events or more traumatic events happen that deal with guns, it's always the back and forth of why we should have gun rights and why people should be able to have the ability to have guns. So if we're looking at simply if, if the central idea, the central issue at hand is the gun, I don't have an issue with it because in other incidences, the gun is not the issue. It's the person. So with that being said, Ja has to be smart. <clears throat> I think in the first in the first segment the first time we talked about this again which seemed like it was only yesterday it was two months ago when we talked about this i said john needs to be smarter because he has to realize who he is if this was me and you or this was anybody else of the status that we are and we're not you know we're not nobodies but we're not john morant this would be looked at as oh they just they just having fun they just doing what they do we are a whole 10 plus years older than john you know Mm -hmm. what i mean so Ja is being the average 23-year-old. And that's no knock on Ja. The average 23-year-old, um, studies have shown, don't have the full developed prefrontal cortex that will allow them to make those in, uh, intelligent decisions. It's not developed. The prefrontal cortex helps you to make decisions on the current situa- with the current situation that you're in moving, uh, moving in your life. Ja has... Obviously, Ja is 23, so he can't, I'm not going to say he can't, but making decisions based off of his current life is not his strong suit right now because his, his prefrontal cortex isn't completely developed. With that being said, he has to be smarter uh, and understand, recognize who he is so that he does not fall into this situation ever again. Because one time, it's a mistake. Okay, Ja. Let's slap you on the wrist. Let's let's let you know that you can't do this moving forward. Two times, it's a coincidence. Okay, Ja, listen, now you did this again. And we're going to get into, I'm going to ask you this question in a second. We're going to have to, the punishment is going to have to be a bit more severe. If it happens again, Ja, that's a pattern. And patterns. It's a character flaw at that point. Yeah, that's just who you are. Mm -hmm. And so now we're really going to make an example of you. With that being said, Sticks, what the question I have for you is what is the punishment 
that you think the NBA will put down this time? Because last time it was an eight game suspension and the Grizzlies had already suspended him for three games. Um, and then when the, the NBA's punishment came down, they allowed that time to be implemented that the Grizzlies put into it to be implemented. So he really only served five, five games from the suspension NBA, mm-hmm. from the NBA. No money was taken from him. He went to rehab. He said for uh, a week, which, you know, if he did, he did, but I don't think he did. No, you, you need more than a week for whatever rehab it is, alcohol, uh, porn addiction, whatever the case is, you, you gotta have, you gotta have longer than a week. It's going to take longer than a week to rehab. Anyway, what, what do you think the, the punishment is going to be for Ja? Just, just to go off of what you said a, a second ago, man, it's going to have to be a little bit of a greater uh, punishment for Ja Morant, given the fact that, like you said, you, you, you made, you made the mistake mm-hmm. two months ago. You apologize for it. You served. You, you served his time, which I think was was reasonable. I think the eight the eight games was reasonable. Um, came back, balled out in the playoffs, um, and now in your in, in your off season, you're making the same mistakes. It's got to be a greater. It's got. It's going to have to be greater. I would say. I would say they probably maybe double the suspension. Maybe give him a 15 game suspension this time. Um, mm-hmm. I think. I think the. I think what's really going to hurt him is the endorsements. Because he just dropped a shoe with Nike, and Nike has now dropped his first Jaw One just came out less than a month ago, right? And now you're still doing the same dumb things that you did that that you were doing that you said that you learned from and you weren't going to do again. Now you're still doing it. Now the biggest thing is going to be, like I said, losing Powerade, which he's already lost, possibly losing Nike and whatever other endorsements that he might have. Because now this is looking this is looking like a pattern, like Delo said. It's looking like a pattern now. It's looking like you have a character flaw now that you clearly built over the past year and a half, clearly. And yeah. that goes back to what I said about influence. I think he's keeping the wrong people around him. And just to, and also to touch on what Delo said too, the prefrontal cortex, Lil Wayne, who we talked about in, the, in, in our small talk, he said he he did an interview as well, and they asked him about John Morant, and they and he said, "Do you respect him? Do you expect him to be responsible?" You right. know what I'm saying? Because number one, he's still a young kid making a lot of money. He's a, a global superstar who is just low low key just enjoying life. Like right. his his personal life has nothing to do with us. But the problem is that Ja is it's Ja. Who he is. Yeah, it's, it's who, who he is. is. It's who yeah. Ja is, and everybody looks up to Ja. And Ja is looked at looked at as a role model, so to speak, to some kids. Some some, some kids now, this generation now, Ja Morant is their favorite basketball player. But right. so it's so it's one of those things where he just has to be a little bit smarter to, with, with the way he moves. But I think I think with the NBA and their punishment, I think it's going to be maybe double what they did last time. Say he had eight games. Okay, we're going to suspend you for the first fifteen games of the season, and we might find you. 10 10 K mm-hmm. for what you did, whatever. But he just had, he has to be smarter, man. He has to be smarter because everybody in the world knows this ain't Ja's personality. This, this ain't what Ja was brought up around. This is not how he was raised. And now all of a sudden you want to be this thug and you even had gang members calling him out on social media. Like, bro, you need to stop throwing up them signs, bro. Cause that's, you don't know what you, you don't know where you could be or who could be around and kind of see that and be like, yo, what you, what, what you own. You know what right. I'm saying? So like he's putting himself in danger by doing all of these things that he's surrounded by. He's a product of his, he's a product of, he's a product of his environment and his current environment. His current environment. And yeah. again, that just goes back to what I said, man. He just keeping the wrong folk around him, bad influences, yes men that not that that just are so happy to be around a superstar and they're reaping the benefits from it that they're just letting him do whatever you want to do. Yeah, Jada's cool. Flash the gun. Yeah, that's cool, man. Go to the strip club right after a loss. Go do in Denver. Do do what you do, bro. Cause we gonna reap the benefits from it because you throwing the money, you paying for everything you got. He just keeping too many people bad influences around him and he need to change that. He needs to change his current environment for sure. So I'm I'll address that last piece that you said first and then I'll come back to what I think the punishment will be. Um so if he if he does, which it seems that he does right now, if he does have those individuals that are just along for the ride and allowing him to be do whatever he wants to do and not really hold him accountable, then when he loses it all, they lose even more. Um, and the reason I say they lose even more, because right now they're not doing anything and they're well, I, it's perceived that they're, I won't say they're not. I know for a fact, but it's perceived right. that they're not doing anything. They're just along for the ride. Ja, you know, all right, Ja, we just took a loss. Yeah, let's go to the strip club. Let's let's throw money. 
it's jobs money for the most part uh, that we know of um, that's mm-hmm. doing that. So those individuals that are around him that aren't um, holding him accountable and, you know, saying, Ja, listen, bro, you know, we used to do this, but we can't do this anymore. If they're not saying that, then, yeah, he has to get rid of them. But like you said earlier, the one that was actually recording and, and tried to, like, move the camera real quick when they noticed he had a gun, maybe his team is, you know, trying to hold him accountable. Sometimes you can't control the person who does, who, you know, who hold or is seen as the boss of the group. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you can't control them. Sometimes you can't say anything to him. Maybe he does have a team in his corner that is allowing him to, or is not you know, wanting him to be this person, but he just wants to, to do it. So then they're like, all right, well, I guess let's go along with it. It, it, it takes a special person to really be that, that asshole, so to speak. It's like, mm-hmm. nah, bro, you, you, we, we not doing this. I don't care what you say. And then not only, hold the person that is the, the the bag holder and accountable in the group, but also everybody else. They, they got to hold them accountable too. And it, it's, it's like, it's uh, the second in command is usually the one that has the most power is usually the one that is the brains of the operation. Mm-hmm. And Ja needs that person. Ja needs a, a strong second in command of the group. That's going to rally the troops and say, all right, listen, we, we we messing up right now. Ja, you messing up right now. This ain't how I need to go. Um, as far as the punishment, I think the NBA is going to send a strong message uh, mm-hmm. about this so it doesn't happen again. You said you think they're going to double it. I think they may, you know, if they double it, they're going to take a lot of his money. Um, mm-hmm. If if they don't double it, I think he might get 25-plus games. 25-plus um, games. And, and on top of him getting 25-plus games, they're probably going to put a rule in place similar to how um, when AI came into the league and, you know, he was wearing certain type of clothes and then mm-hmm. everybody else was wearing certain type of clothes and David Stern put in this dress code, which was, it, it wasn't called the AI rule, but it was dubbed the AI rule. 100%. Um, I think, I think they even put a rule in place um, along with whatever's already in place to make sure like stuff like this doesn't happen and that the NBA continues to have a good image amongst its fans, amongst the viewers across the world, across in America. And so that, because the NBA and, and Adam Silver are pretty, I want to say, I'm not going to say liberal. They're pretty progressive in their thoughts. And, you know, I, I agree. I want, I want to say that they are, 100% on the left side of things when it comes to gun control. Mm-hmm. And this does not send a good message to that base that they are trying to control their athletes and are in favor of gun control. So I think mm-hmm. they send a, a, a very strong message in this regard when it comes to Ja Morant. Um, it's unfortunate, but again, I say Ja has to be smarter moving forward. We said this two months ago, but we're back mm-hmm. here saying it again. Ja has to be smarter in this situation uh, or in the situations that he puts himself in because of who he is, because of the status that he has as um, a professional athlete and the type of money that he has. Um, mm-hmm. If he was me and you, again, this would not be a big issue but because it's Ja mm-hmm. and because of the type of money he was set to make they're they're going to make an example out of them. They they love humiliating black celebrities and athletes. And so don't make it easy for them. Make it hard on them. Make them comb through to find stuff to mm-hmm. humili- humiliate you about. Don't make it easy for them. 100%, man. And just to go back, I I think I think I'm a little bit more I I think I'm a little bit of opposed to what cuz I I don't think they're going to take a lot of money from them. So I think he's I think the I think the NBA will look at what he's losing on the back end of this anyway from his endorsements to where if they do give him a, a if they do give him a a heavier suspension, I think it'd be more so games taking away what he loves, more so than him actually losing a bunch of money from the NBA, honestly. Because if they do find him, I don't okay. think it's gonna be heavy. But I would say if you it, I, I would be on the side of the fence with you as far as 25 games more so like a heavier fine a heavier suspension as far as that's concerned but as far as a fine 
I think the NBA is, like you said, is a little bit more progressive in how they do things as far as the league. I think they'll look more into, okay, cool. He's already lost this endorsement. He lost this money already from not making it for t- being taken off the, uh, the all NBA team. He's probably about to lose Nike. He don't need to lose no more money. So let's just take away what he loves and take away basketball and give him 25 plus games. That's what I'm thinking, but I could, yeah. be we, we would just have to see. I, I think that, yeah, we'll have to see. I'll, you can rebuttal um but i think they're they'll wrap the suspension with without pay as well okay i can see that i can see that i can see that yeah i can see that i can see that yeah thank you for watching this video if you've made it this far make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell so you miss none of the content also you can find us on all your streaming platforms wherever you find your podcasts